Can I put my finger on it? Got up a little off today just to play that same old song. I don't really want to... Hello, this is Christian with Outdoor Game Cameras, and today I'm doing a quick setup on this new 2020 Browning Strike Force HD Max. So first off, you'll need your camera. You'll need six LA batteries. You can use Alkine or lithium batteries. I'm using the Rayvac uh, high energy Alkine batteries. And then I have a 64 gig by Sendez. So let's go ahead and get your camera set up. The first thing you want to do is put your batteries in your camera. So go ahead and put them in. Once you hear a click, then you're good. Go ahead and put your SD card in. I'm using a 64 gig by Sendez. Go ahead and put it in. Once you hear a click, then you're good. Let me show you how to set your camera up. So go ahead and turn on your camera. Push the mode button. And then push the E. That'll flash. This is your program button. And then this is uh, down, right, and left. So we want to go to, uh, today is May 20th. So let's go over to May and then 20, 2020. Um, right now it is 3, uh, 45 p.m. Push enter and then program button, software upgrade. Uh, I put no, but let's just double check to make sure we're good. Alright, and then capture timer. What that means is, so uh, you can time this, uh, have this camera come on at certain times. So say if you want it to come on at like 4 o'clock in the morning, and then it'll turn off at like 7 o'clock in the night. So it's great for sunrise and sunset. I'm going to leave it on off. That's a great thing. That's a new... Uh, Thing for uh, browning this year. Um, IR flash power. Let's just make sure we can do different ones. Long range or economy or fast motion. Uh, let's do long range. Uh, delete all. You can delete all the pictures and videos off this uh, camera, off the SD card. On my next review in the mountains, I'll show you how that works and how to uh, delete pictures. SD management. And what that means is, say if you have that on off, that means after you have so many pictures and videos, it will uh, stop taking pictures after the memory card fills up. But if you have that on on, it actually will uh, delete pictures and videos in the front. That were the first pictures and videos, and then it'll just keep uh, deleting and keep taking them. Um, it's nice to have, especially if you have a big property or you leave your cameras up all, all year. But I only have my cameras up for uh, four months. Um, S Smart IR video. On my next review I'll show you how that works and how the the videos work. Time lapse period. I have a setup for that here uh, later in this video. How to set your camera up to do in time lapse. Default settings. What that means is I have this on no because after I set these settings I want to save these settings but not go back to the manufacturer settings. The manufacturer has a setting, so if you push yes, it will go back to the manufacturer settings. Um, trigger speed, uh, you can change that to fast speed or normal, only on fast. Uh, battery type, alkyne or lithium batteries. Uh, this is alkyne. Uh, motion detection. 80 feet. Um, you can change that to 60 or 80 feet. I'm going to go to 80 feet. Motion test. So it, what you want to do is go ahead and uh, turn that on. Push the E and then it'll say detecting. And then and there's a red light right here. And if there's any motion, that thing will come on. So I'll make sure it's working before you take your camera up to the mountains. Uh, this is image data strip, and what that is is the little strip on the bottom of the pictures and videos. Uh, it has like temperature, time and date, and then um, 
what uh, you name your camera. That's really important. I have that on on. Uh, so let's see. Uh, camera name. This is important too. I'm going to call this Strike um, HD uh, like 2. So you can go up and down as you need to. Now say if you want a, like a space, um, you have to go to uh, between the numbers, between 0 and and Z. So right there it goes over. Now if you want other space there, uh, you can just go to 0 and then it's gone. So you push up, now come back. So I'm going to call this uh, Strike Force HD2. After you're done there, go ahead and push uh, program button, temperature unit, Fahrenheit or Celsius, depending on where you live. I live in the United States, so I'm going to leave it on Fahrenheit. Um, multi shots mode, you can have this camera to do in multi shots. It's always nice, especially there's a lot of animals in the area that come through really fast. Two shot standard, uh, three shot, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Uh, now it's going to have rapid fire shot. That's two shot there, three shot, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to leave it on eight. And then picture delay, uh, you can change that as you need to, to um, uh, 1 second, 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, 1 minute, or 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, or 60 minutes. I'm going to leave it on um, like probably every 1 minute. Uh, so we'll go to one minute. Uh, video length. On video quality, on my next review of how to set your camera up to do in videos, I'll show you how that works. Uh, picture quality, you can change that to uh, lows uh, 2MP, mediums 4MP, high is um, 8MP, and then ultra is 18. I'm going to leave it on ultra 18. Uh, operation mode, we're on trail. There's uh, different ones. There's video and time lapse plus. I'll show you all three of those and what they do in the settings. Um, and then after that, push mode. And you got trail. And then this is your countdown. This is how many pictures it took. This is how many you can take. And this is your battery life. Look out for my next review on how to set your camera up to doing videos. Let me show you how to set your camera up to doing videos. So go ahead and turn on your camera, go to mode, and then go down to operation mode. You want to go up to video, push the E button, and then go to video quality, ultra, or high. I would go to ultra. I like ultra and then you can go to video length you can change that to um, 5 seconds 10 seconds 20 seconds or 30 seconds or 1 minute or 2 minutes I'm going to leave it on 1 minute and then we want to go up to Smite IR video that's really important make sure it can reach out to um, the animals if they reach out far from your camera that's always good to have on and after that you're done, go ahead and push the mode button. Uh, this is It's on video countdown. This is how many videos it took. And then this is how many it can take. This is your um, battery life. Look out for my next review on the time lapse plus. Let me show you how to set your camera up to do in time lapse plus. So go ahead and turn on your camera and push the mode button. You can go to operation mode, you can go up to time lapse plus, push the E button, and then 
you go up to time lapse period and time lapse frequency. This is a perfect setting for uh, a wide area or a, a field. So we got time lapse period. Uh, you got um, you can go all day, one hour, two hours, three hours, or four. I'm gonna leave it on one hour, and then time lapse frequency. You got uh, one minute, two minutes, five minutes, ten minutes, thirty minutes, sixty minutes, five seconds. Uh, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, and then one minute. I'm going to leave it on one minute. Then after that, you're done. Go ahead and push the mode button. And then it's going to say TL plus, and that's time lapse plus, countdown, and here's your battery life. Um, if you'd like to purchase this camera, uh, follow links below. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And look out for my next review in the mountains with this camera. Uh, subscribe and like and leave a comment below. I see nothing in my reflection. I'm a little bit dry today. I feel like I could die today. I'm a little bit off today. I feel like I could die today. Hey.